I'm done. Episode 1. Good morning. Morning. Well... Why is that for? Don't you know? Don't play with me. What's wrong? Nothing. Nothing is wrong. Okay, then. We wish you a happy birthday. This generous sale is for you. Write me down the 17th at 3 o'clock. Not sure yet. I'll come to the office and tell you. If I have time, I'll show up. Miss. Hey, miss. I can't move because of you. Park your car half a meter away. Ask Luba to sign me up for a massage. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Sonia, good morning. Hi. Sign. Later, Uncle Mish, I'm late. And good morning. Sonia! Hi. I didn't see anything. What didn't you see? Absolutely nothing. Sonia, are you okay? There are flowers in the back room. I know, I know. I didn't mean to spoil the surprise. Well, too late. I asked the manager to buy one normal bouquet, and this moron brought a broom. I couldn't decide, he said. I like it. Very beautiful flowers. That's great you like it. I doubt Paul Palic gonna like it too. It's not respectable. Paul Palic? Sonia, don't be stupid. Paul Palic has been promoted. We are going to congratulate him in 15 minutes. Come on, move. Make this shit look not so miserable. Sonia, keep up. All right. Go, go, go. Just look at her. Just like our manager. She is an idiot. Come on, come on, make Daddy happy. Don't 
Damn it! Hello? Hi, Anton. I lost because of you. What do you want? I uh, gotta be late. Paul Palach celebrates promotion and we are having a party. However, I am stuck here with a report, so I probably won't be at home before 10. In the fridge... Okay, I'll figure it out. I have no time. Okay, bye. Cheers, dear Pal Palich. Cheers, folks. All the best. <laughs> hey, Sonia. Still working? Yeah, kinda. Well done. Take it. Take. I like the way you work. Thank you. Listen, there is a thing. Our company is downsizing. Paul Palich just made an announcement. Actually, we gathered there for it. So we talked and decided to cut you loose. Am I fired? No, no, just cut. Listen, who else can it be? You're a newbie here. All right, what did I want to say? You can go. Just finish the report and go home. That's it. Bye. Sonia, are you okay? Well, what can I say? I'm fired. Well, well, don't cry. It's not the end of the world. Every black stripe is always followed by a white one. Yeah, but I don't have any white ones. Only black. And moreover, one is blacker than other. Not only I was fired, but no one wished me happy birthday. I'm sorry. I didn't know. Well, happy birthday. Thank you. Even my own husband didn't congratulate me. So maybe he did it on purpose. Maybe he's preparing a surprise for you. I wish. Goodbye. Goodbye, Sonia. Sonia, what the hell? Why are you so early? You said you won't be before 10. Sonia. Don't worry. It happens.
Actually, we gathered there for it. So we talked and decided to cut you loose. What the hell? Why are you so early? You said you won't be before 10. And you know what? My company won the tender. He came to me with a bottle of expensive whiskey the next day. I thought he came to speak or congratulate me, which would be logical in that situation. However, he poured two glasses and said, You know, Ilya, I came to say that I don't envy you. You are number one, and I am number two. This means that I will work twice harder and earn twice more. And, and emptied his glass. Just like that? Yes, I swear to you, emptied the glass. Did you become friends after that? No, I thought he was crazy. <laughs> you know what? Everything happened just as he said. A year later, his company overcame mine, and I came to him with a bottle of whiskey, and then we became friends. Poor Tolik. Rest in peace. Your father was an amazing man. Yes. Do you remember when he visited us, took Igor with you for the first time? How old were you? I don't remember. Seventeen, probably. Yes, yeah, seventeen. I remember that. You were so shy. Well, I couldn't get the world. It's probably my fault. I shouldn't have said... Look at the groom I brought for you. I'm sorry, Igor. Oh, yeah. I can forget all those jokes. You look so good, just like a bride and groom. Weren't we right? It seems to have been going to the wedding for a long time. We will soon be one family. We talked about this with your father more than once. Well, not only about that. You plan to merge campaigns. Well, yes. The market encourages this. If you want to dominate, you need to unite. It should have been done a long time ago. Our children are together and madly in love. Excuse me. <clears throat> we can become not only one family, but also a company that will not be equal. Sorry. Christine. Look, your capacities and our raw material production will become one. We will force all competitors to get hell out of the market. <laughs> Calm down. No need to be nervous. So... It is... Difficult to speak. I know you're just after Anastasia. Don't strain yourself. I know all you want to ask. The questions are almost always the same. All right. Your first question is where you are. You are here with us in the hospital. The second question is what has happened. You had an accident. Do you remember it? Amazing. We're moving. So, calm down. The third question is what's wrong with you? You have been operated. We removed the shrapnel from the chest. The operation was successful. The most important thing is complete peace. Deal? I will come later by the way we called your husband as soon as you were brought here and he never came i'll try again stay calm
Well, how do you feel? Listen, I just... Well, I don't know how it happened. I was on my way home from the club, and then I met her. Sonia, it's all her fault, I swear to you. Well, okay, let's forget it. It happened only once. I didn't want you to find out, but you're the one to blame. You just got home from work earlier. All right. Get better. Hold it, please. Thank you. You need to eat everything to get strength. Sonia? Is it you? I can't believe it. Your wife is very lucky. But she has to spend in the hospital at least three weeks. How long? Three weeks? God damn it. The main thing is that she's alive. This is a list of medicine you need to buy her. Yes, of course. Mom, what's the point of playing solitaire and paper cards if you can do it on your phone? You can't cheat on the phone. If you cheat, then what's the point? Victory. The point is always to win, Christina. And our victory is not far away. I doubt it. I don't want to hear such words from you ever again, clear? Everything is going according to plan. Sorokin is tired of Yegor's bachelor life. I can reach him. He avoids all marriage talks. He doesn't even want to live with me. Well, then try harder. Mom, I'm doing my best. I doubt it. Our future depends on this marriage. Do you remember it? We can be declared bankrupt and end up in the trash. They can put me in jail. Well, it's not my fault that my father died and left us a bunch of debt. You're the only one who can fix it. If you marry Yegor, we will be financially secure. But we need to do that faster than they realize. We have nothing to offer but a big name. I think you need to go deeper with Yegor's father. He loves all these business schemes of yours. And Yegor is afraid to stand up against him. I like you more now. Come in. Can you imagine? I met my classmate in the hospital. Wow. Yes. We haven't seen each other since school. The one after the accident? Well, she tried to commit suicide. What do you mean? According to eyewitnesses, this wasn't an accident. She deliberately veered off the road. Excuse me. Look who is awake. Who bought the medicine? Dr. Fyodor couldn't get your husband, and we can't stop the treatment process. You shouldn't have. Don't mention that. Let's talk about it later. Do not think about it. Everything will be fine. 
It definitely won't. Everything in my life is not the way I would like it to be. Isn't that so? I'm married, but to be honest, I don't even know if I love him. Looks like Anton keeps me as a maid. I wanted to have children. But he's... afraid of losing his carefree life. Everyone can get a prince. I worked twice as hard. Stayed up until night. And they have fired me. That's why you tried to kill yourself. You're alive, and that's the main point. You will recover, leave the hospital, return to your husband. I want to be alone. Of course. What? Stop! Give it back! Drop it! You are crazy! He cheated on me! In our bedroom! On our bed! On my birthday! What's the point of all this? Don't cry! Everything will be fine, do you hear me? Doctor! Yes? Are you going home? I have an urgent business for you. So talk to and call doctor. I don't need him, I need you. Lena, friends and hockey are waiting for me. And I have a question of life and death. I beg you. All right. When I was a student, my professor used to say that when a patient says that she doesn't want to live, she tries to say help me she's only afraid to ask for help i don't need any help help everyone needs it people live when they have a reason to live for i have nothing my whole life is a disaster I really need to show you something. Why, God, why? Why are we here? Look at this. An iron fragment pierced your chest and stopped at the very heart. If you think you're out of luck, look at this man who had the same accident as you. He died. And you, you are here, alive. Take a closer look at the picture. Don't forget that life has given you a second chance. Why, God? Winter. What a miracle. They say that Children love winter, but adults don't. So? I'm a child. After winter comes spring and then warm summer. True. Isn't it a miracle? Of course a miracle. Too bad not everyone thinks that way. The older we get, the longer our winters. And we have to wait until summer. Maybe that's why we care so much about our children. We know we won't always be there. 
Yes, you see my point. Sooner or later, I will retire, and Yegor just doesn't give a damn about my business. Someone will have to run the company after me. Yegor has Kristina. They love each other, and this love will help them overcome difficulties. Yes. Kristina is a girl with character. Right. She has a business mind, just like her father. If our children get married, we will unite the companies. And we will never have to worry about their future. I always wanted to unify our companies. But all those modern customs... God, why don't they hurry up? There will always be something to stop them. I want to babysit my grandchildren. They should hurry up. Sonia? You scared me, Lenka. Are you ready for the procedures? Don't you have anything to do? I have you and I'm taking care of you. Here is your new friend. Then you feel set. Look at him and you will immediately feel better. <laughs> Idiot. I see you started to eat. Do you want me to get an additional portion for you? Lena, I'm going to gain an extra pound here. Then go for a walk. I'll pick you up in five minutes. Come on, hurry up. Fresh air. Right. Yes, I haven't been outside for a long time. Two weeks to be certain. Lenka, why didn't you go to a medical school? Didn't pass the exams? I didn't try. I didn't even try to apply. Didn't believe I would make it. Without connections and money, you have nothing. Too bad. I think you should have tried. Sure. I've been replaying my entire life in my head so many times these days, and I decided to give myself a second chance. At a girl. Get better, get a new job, everything will be fine. I want to open a florist dry studio. Okay. Yeah. Like your own business. Isn't it risky? I don't know. I'll open it and I will see. You need tons of money. You can lose everything. Lena, it's just my plan. So, what do you think? I think you didn't call me for that. We both know business is not my strength. Yes. I just wanted to talk to you. Then don't beat around the bush. Speak. Right. Why don't you marry Christina? I knew that. I'm not sure I love her. Wait, what? You're not sure that you love her? How is it possible? So many years together. Yes, so many years together, and the longer we're together, the more I think, what if this isn't love, but just a habit? Well, good. What's bad about it? It's a good habit. But where is love? Come on, boy. Yegor, wait. I think I know what's going on. It happened to me too. You're just nervous about making a responsible decision. I'm afraid. I don't want to make a mistake. Why don't you understand this? What's wrong with you? It won't be a mistake. You're the perfect couple. How can you know this? I don't understand. Who knows if not me? Our families have been together for so many years. That's it. Let's be honest. You want this wedding so badly because you have dreamed about uniting our business. And what's wrong with that? I want it for you first of all. So now all this for my sake? For whom else it can be? Your happiness is in the first place. This is the main thing for me. You can be serious. Shall I remind you how you left me and mom for business?
No need. Don't talk to me like that. No. We had this conversation before. It was a long time ago. Not long enough for me to forget. For me to forget what it's like to live without a father. Enough. I said marry Christina and that's it. Papa. Dead. Dead. Doctor, call a doctor. Heart attack. The man is 60 years old. To the intensive care. Stop. You can go. He is my father. We'll do our best. to stabilize your father's condition. Will he get better? His heart should start working without additional devices. Then we can talk about recovery. The ambulance took him here. Can I transfer him to another clinic? No need. We have very good specialists. Can he hear me now? Yes, of course, but please, Watch your words. He must stay calm. Why? Why did I tell you all this? You're right, Dad. You're always right, and I'm selfish. You always wanted the best for me. I'm sorry. Forgive me for not understanding this earlier. Hello. Christina, hi. Hi. Let's meet tomorrow at our restaurant. Sure. What for? I have a surprise for you. Surprise. Okay. See you. See you. Mom. Mom. What? It seems to me tomorrow will come the day we have been waiting for. <laughs> Excuse me, but I came here first. Is that so? Yes. You stuck the money right in front of me. Well, you didn't do that, right? Could you wait? Miss, this is not a store. This is a vending machine. Whoever puts the money first is right. You took the chocolate I wanted. It was the last one. Today is not your day. Miss. Damn. Have you seen that brat? Who? The one near the vending machine. I can see the brat you are talking about. Where there is a tall, handsome man in a white shirt. A tall, greedy man in a white shirt. It took the last chocolate. Ay, 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 ay. He's not handsome. Maybe you should visit the optometrist. We have one. I'll write you down. <laughs> have you made eyes at him yet? He is not up to it. His father has a heart attack.
I am sorry. If you are talking about our first meeting, it's fine. Heard about your father. He had a heart attack. I'm sorry. The chocolate was delicious. Yegor. Sonia. Nice to meet you, Sonia. Why are you here? An accident. How's that? How did it happen? Car's technical malfunction. I see. Sonia, let's have a walk. Sure. What did you do? I help my father in business, although sometimes it seems to me that I'm only getting in the way. Business isn't my strength. And what would you like to do? When I was studying in London, I visited a drawing studio. I enjoyed it. Yes. Well, then I came back and my father fascinated me with work and I abandoned drawing. That's funny. I would never think you were an artist. Do you want me to prove it? Well, yeah. All right, then. Let's go, let's go. And what are you up to? Nothing. But I have a dream. Dreaming is not bad. Sometimes I'm afraid of my own thoughts. It's crazy. All the best in this life begins with a dream. Easy to say. Close your eyes. Why? Close. Now, imagine your biggest dream. I see myself differently from now. How differently? Strong, self-confident, and... And? Beautiful. Yes. <laughs> what else do you see? Flowers. Real flowers. They're everywhere and they're amazing. And what kind of place is it? A florist dry studio. My studio. See? Dreaming is great. And please, don't doubt it. Everyone thinks I can't do it. Even my own husband doesn't believe in me. Are you married? Yes, but lately... Never mind. I just want to change my life completely. I don't want to go back. I think you will manage to do it, Sonia. You can do it. How do you like it? What the hell? Actually, I came to find out when you are going home. I don't know. Well, the apartment is a mess. And it's time to pay the rent. Are you allowed to work after discharge, right? I didn't tell you. But I'm fired. Well, you know how to get into trouble. Well, you'll find another job. I don't want to look for another job. I want to start my own business. 
flowers. Do you know how much money it takes? I know. It's a lot. Let's say I have money. Let's say you do. Even then I would find a better use for it. Yes, I even know what. I do something much more reliable than your stupid idea. It's not stupid. Sonia, get down to Earth. How old are you? Yes, that's right. How old am I and what have I achieved? I'm tired of this. I know that I'm capable of more. Why don't you believe in me? Want the truth? Look at yourself. What can you do with your brain? Do you have any idea what's waiting for you? Get this crap out of your head. He will never let me do what I want. Never. Can you imagine that? He is just being realistic. All men are like that. I don't want to be discharged. I don't want to go home. I don't want to leave my old life. Where are you going? You get burned. Wait for the signal. I got burned when I married on Tom. Get ready. Let's go home. I'll take your receipt. Igor. Igor. Hello. Hi. Did something happen? What's wrong? Will you marry me? Yes. Come on in. Ready? Where's Sonia? I don't think she's coming back. Episode 2. Lenka, thank you for hosting me. You have no idea how much that means to me. No worries. Stay as long as you want. Do you remember our childhood? We used to have sleepovers. Right. Well, your bed is ready. Welcome. I don't have any clothes. Not a big deal. Take whatever you want. What? Does it hurt? Is it your wound? No. Just... such a strange feeling inside. Either happiness or fear. Are you going to talk to him? About what? Make yourself comfortable. This number cannot accept message at this time. 
So that's how it is, right? So you're interested in a business loan? Yes. I want to open my own florist dry studio. Mm -hmm. You haven't indicated any property. Do you have an apartment? Oh, no. No. We rent an apartment with my husband. Do your parents have any assets? House, cottage, land? No. My parents... they're gone. I see, but someone has to act as a guarantor. Maybe your husband or his relatives? Is it possible to get a loan without involving my husband? In your case, the bank will refuse you. The loan amount is large. Moreover, if you have late payments, the penalty will be enormous. I understand. If I can't pay... The loan back. What will happen? In this case, the bank has the right to take your business. The property will be sold, but this will cover only part of the debt. The rest you will have to pay yourself. Therefore, you must be confident in your abilities. And by the way, the insurance of your business is an obligatory condition. It's already included in the loan. Here are the payout schedules. Excuse me, is this for a month? Yes. I need to think. Have your time. Sorry. Do not put off the dream for later. I agree. Listen. You don't have a job. You have no property. You are unreliable client for the bank. Of course, I can try to send documents for consideration, but without a guarantor, there is almost no chance. Try it. Serhii, please, lend me some. I will pay you back in a couple of days. I know you're a couple of days. But for real. Back off. Find a job. Go to hell. Sofia Kuzmina? Yes? This is Tikhonov. Where have you suddenly gone? Well, I... Okay, okay, don't bother yourself. It's your business. You have to come to the hospital and pick up your statement. All right. Slut. She has left me. Hello, yes. Yes, it's me. 
I see. Thank you. Goodbye. Am I interrupting something? Hi. Of course not. How are you feeling? Now better. I've been discharged. How's your father? His condition is stable, but the doctors talk about it without enthusiasm. We all understand what that means. Are you planning to go on vacation? No, this is from a bank. I told you about my dream. Do you remember? Yes, of course. Flores Tri Studio. Yes. I wanted to take a loan, but they refused me. Apparently, I'm an unreliable person without a grantor. Can I take a look? Please. They definitely overreacted. Bastards. Creditors. Exactly. They attacked us like vultures. Mom, we have a solution to all problems. We're lucky that the old fool got in the hospital. Igor thinks about Dad's health so much that he stopped showing off. You did a good job with Sorokin, and he was Igor? But we need time. I want you to arrange a reception for our partners in the office. Now? When our business falling apart? Yes, right now. We must pretend that everything is fine. Well, if you want, I'll rob a bank for you. Lena, that's not funny at all. Don't get upset. I just want to cheer you up. I'm not upset. You were right. I have no chance of starting my own business. My fate is to sit in the shabby office and serve my husband. I have an idea. Let's get drunk. As goats. Just like at the prom? I don't remember being drunk. That's exactly why you don't remember. Why not? Come on, let's drink. Hello, yes. Yes, it's me. What? Yes, of course. I'll be there. Yes. Okay, thanks. Goodbye. What? What? Lenka, the bank approved my loan. For real? But why did they change their decision? I don't know. I don't understand. Just a mere formality. Take out insurance and sign all the papers. And that's it. The credit is yours. Just remember to pay on time. Otherwise, the penalty will be serious. Uh-huh. Yes, I got it. I'll ask you to sign here and here. Uh-huh. Could you tell me, why did the bank suddenly approve the loan? You have a guarantor. Guarantor? Who? Igor Sorokin. His father's company is a longtime client of our bank. You are very lucky. I would also like to have such influential friends. Igor, hello. Hello. I wanted to thank you. Thank you so much for watching for me. They gave me a loan. Well, to be honest, it wasn't difficult. I don't understand. Why do you need this? I like that you believe in yourself and do what you think is right. Yes. You told your husband is against your idea. Did he change his mind? No. I changed my mind and left him. Igor? Hi. I decided to surprise you. What about... I have a lot of work to do. 
I don't accept rejection. We will celebrate our plans. Who is the girl in the picture? I don't remember. This is an old drawing. Found it on the table. Yeah, nice. Well, let's talk about our plans. I want us to announce our wedding. What do you mean? We will arrange a banquet, invite guests, and make an official engagement, yeah? Engagement? Are you serious? The engagement is a relic of the past. I don't think so. It is important for me. And besides, it was your father's idea. And we can't upset him. He needs to be happy. And one more. Let's move in together. Let's talk about it after the engagement. Good, as you wish. Here is the room for your flower shop. Florist rice, dear. I'll be honest, it was very difficult considering your budget. No one will offer you anything better. I understand. The room has been empty for a couple of years. This is not Buckingham Palace. Let's see. What do you think? As you said, I have a little choice. Let's sign the papers then. Hello, delivery for you. Oh, yeah, yeah, bring it in. Turn it to the door. And closer to me. A little bit closer. Here to the right. Careful, careful. Is it in one piece? Thank you very much. Goodbye. All right. The sofa is for relaxation. Yeah. I want to put a... A cash register there. And divide the space into two zones, one for rest, another for work. Good. Help yourself. I'm starving. I know. What a day. Hey, don't you want to change your style? Are you okay? Mm -hmm. Yes, I'll also need a uh, hundred roses. Red. Yes, red. Yes. Please, don't let me down. I will be a regular customer. Okay. Yes, thank you. Bye. Yeah. I have never thought you could do it all by yourself. I didn't believe either. It's so beautiful here. And you are so beautiful, just like a business lady. Thanks to you. Don't mention it. You made me believe that I shouldn't be afraid of my desires. Our doctor Tikhanov said medical university dropped a few extra places. So? And I decided to give it a try. Lienka, that's great. You will do it. Do you know what the most important thing? Believe in yourself. I forgot I have a surprise for you. That's for you. Lienka. Wow. It's amazing. This is for luck. Thank you. It's time. Ready? Yes. Come on. 
Attention, attention. Attention, attention. Floris Tri Studio is officially open. Congratulations. No one said that customers would immediately tumble down in drows. We are going to have a reception, during which we will announce our engagement. Fine. Thank God. I am very happy. See? I told you your dad would love it. Ouch. Excuse me, please. I called you dead. But get used to it. I think we should wait until my father is discharged. Igor. No way. You will have to wait a very long time. I am not even allowed to get up. They say I need rest and constant monitoring. And then this thing, I can't live without it. Don't delay the engagement. Your happiness is the best medicine for me. Sonia, is it you? Yes, yes, it's me. Preparing for your exams? My brain is a bit fried. I see. Wow. You are determined. I take an example from you. Lemka. Do you know I love you, don't you? What have you done? I have rented an apartment. I know that I can stay here with you, but I have to start building my new life. Sonia, you are the smartest girl I've ever met. So do what you think is right. Lianka. You're doing great. Igor, hi. My mother asked to... Since when have you been drawing again? I always wanted to do it. Don't you think it's a waste of time? I mean, if you like, okay. Good for you. Very nice. Antonio, why don't you say hi? Where's your politeness? Hi. Didn't recognize you? Well, it's good. It's really good. I'm going to be rich, right? What's up, man? If you want to live, give me my money back. I'm broke, but I will. No, 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 no. It doesn't work anymore. I have a problem, Antonio. A serious problem. I'm ill. I have a terrible allergy. I'm allergic. Allergic to people who take my money and then don't pay it back. Antonio, I go crazy. Do you want to see it? No need, I'll get it back. I just need time. Time? Well, we can make it. If I hear your excuses again... Yes, I got it, got it. Wait, wait. Where do you live? Apartment 32? Yeah, that's 32. I won't forget. Hi. What's wrong with you? 
Can you... No, I won't give you money. Don't even ask. I wanted to borrow. You have borrowed from half of the district. I'm not going to join it. Why are you all like that, huh? Is it true that your wife left you? Kinda. She just ran away. We will see. How long are you going to wait? By the way, she makes money in her flower business. Flower what? Igor? Hello. Hello. How did you find me? Pretty easy. I have to congratulate you. Your studio is all over the internet. Great news. I'm going to have more clients. I hope. Impressive. How is it going? Not much yet. People mainly come for flowers and buquets. And the main income is the decoration of large events. But I don't have such clients yet. But the positive attitude still remains? <laughs> of course. If I don't think about loan and rent payments. Well, I have two orders to complete. Yes, first I need a bouquet. Any advice? Yes, of course. For whom? For one beautiful girl. Who is she? I'm afraid I can't say that. You didn't get my point. I need to understand what bouquet to choose. This girl is smart and very beautiful. I think this is enough for you to choose a bouquet. Good. One moment. Here. I think this is it. Well then, all right. Igor, please, I won't take money for you. Please, take it. You are the one who helped me. I insist. This is for you. For me? Yes. Just as I told you, this is for a smart and beautiful woman. Thank you. So, how did you like it? Gorgeous bouquet. A professional helped you. I also think this way. <laughs> Would you like some tea? Let's go, come on. Have a seat. You said you have two orders. What is the second? Yeah, and about this. My partners are hosting a business reception at the office. We would like to decorate the hall with flowers. What do you think? Is the hall big? Big enough. Well, what do you say? I don't have enough flowers now, so I need to order more. For this, I... You just need to say yes. Sonia, I believe in you. Yes. Excellent. Unfortunately, I need to go. I'll leave you my business card. And send all the information to the email. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Igor, thank you for the bouquet. No problem. I was glad to see you, Sonia. Thank you for the order. And for the order. <laughs> Did you forget something? When they told me, I didn't believe it. And here I am. What do you want? You have changed everything. New clothes, hairstyle. Go away, please. So you opened this crappy studio behind my back. This is my business. Is it so? You're my wife. You must share with me. I don't owe you anything. One more time. You are my wife. Yeah. Not much. Do you want me to press the button? 
Do you believe the police will do something to me? Who said it would be the police? Who then? Those who are responsible for my peace. You're bluffing. If you don't believe me, you can press it yourself. All right, birdie. If you want to fly a little bit, fly. Just try not to fall. Your face seemed familiar. Do I know you somehow? I don't think we've met. I'm Sonia. Kristina Anatolievna. This is my office. And you're a florist, yes? Exactly. My friend gave me a word of advice. I hope you are worth it. Of course not. Is it enough for such a spacious hall? That's not all. The rest will be brought from the warehouse. Those roses? Don't touch them. Be careful. I love roses. They are... Yes, roses look harmless, but they have thorns. It's better not to touch them if you don't know how. You can cut out the thorns. Then it won't be a rose anymore. You know better. You're a florist here. I hope you do your job well. Or I don't envy you. Good luck. I don't envy your boyfriend, if you have one. Hello. Hi, this is Flower Delivery. What? Who? Sergeyev. Flowers delivery. Oh, yeah. I got it. Where are you? We are waiting for the flowers. Have you arrived? I'm in another city. Pity? Why is that? I'm in another city. Your flowers are in the warehouse. Can you hear me? We have a conflict. What profit? Not profit. The cellular service is horrible here. Hello? So at what time you'll be here? Hello? Hello? What is it? If so, no. Hello. Igor. Decided to come earlier to see how you are here. Horrible. It's a catastrophe. I didn't receive flowers from the warehouse. There was some kind of conflict. The driver got stuck and his car broke down. So they can't bring flowers today? No, there is only a watchman in the warehouse. They have no workers, no transport, no one. I can't reach them. All right, keep calm, okay? I'll figure out what to do. What can you do here? I have failed. I won't get money. I won't pay for the loan. And I will lose the studio. Or we can go to the warehouse and pick up the flowers ourselves. By the way, there's a bus in the parking lot. I can make a deal with the driver. Igor, if we are quick, we can make it. Let me go first. 
Oh. Let's go then. Yeah. And again, you saved me. I'm starting to like it. <laughs> it's closed. <gasps> what happened? I forgot my bag. Don't worry, no one will steal it. An invoice for flowers is there. Damn it. We don't have time to go back. Let's try without it. Of course, they will believe me and give me a huge number of flowers out of thin air. Sonia, try to call them again. Phone is in the bag. Sonia, you're amazing. Why is it always like this with me? What's now? I have an idea. Let's go. Come on. Igor, this is theft. Not exactly. You have all the invoices, you have paid for the flowers. Explain everything later. This way. Let's go. Carefully, carefully. Give me a hand, Sonia. Careful. Watch your head. Oh! My leg! Sorry. I can't believe we are doing this. Don't stop. <laughs> Come here. Here? Yes, I think yes. Careful. Careful. Watch it. Well, do you see them? Yes. My flowers are there. Indeed. Check invoices. Yes, they are. Yeah? Yeah. Well, well, well. Watch it. The last one. Come on. Let's go. It seems... We need to pick up the flowers. Yes, you're right. You're crazy, Igor. You are the same. And let's drop the formalities and go to first name terms. Angry. You have done your job very well, Sonia. I'm glad you liked it. Thank you. You know, I have another task for you. Let's discuss all the details tomorrow at 9. Thank you. Okay. Yes, yeah, see you tomorrow. Goodbye. 
Just a minute. Yes, of course. So I... Let's go. I want to introduce you to someone. Get together and talk. I hope no one is bored. Don't say that. I love all your events. Glad to hear it. Things are going uphill, which means we have a good reason to celebrate. Meet Igor Sorokin, my daughter's fiancé, my future son-in-law. Hello. Igor Sorokin? I know your father. Everyone here knows his father. I heard he's in a hospital. What happened? A heart attack. Such a blow. We all pray for his recovery. Wait, so what does it mean? Your daughter and Yegor are about to marry. Yes, you're right. Folks, someone wants to capture the entire market. Don't worry, we'll leave something for you. I'm sorry. Are you leaving already? Yes, my work is done. Can I keep your company? To be honest, I'm already tired of this event. Let's celebrate your amazing job. I know a place where they make amazing mule wine. Well, let's go. Come on. I've just realized what could happen to us. The watchman was there a couple of meters from us. But if he saw us, what would we do then, huh? I had a plan B. So tell me. Please, please, let us go. I suddenly remembered how we were sitting in the car in front of the hospital and you told me about your dream. Yes, looks like it was a hundred years ago. Yes. You were afraid to think about any changes, but now, look at yourself. You did a great job. And you helped me. No, I didn't do anything at all. Yes, you did. It is all about your strength and perseverance. I'll tell you that few people have enough courage for it. Sounds like you're talking about yourself. No, just thinking out loud. Such a beautiful place. My mother and I love to visit it very much. <laughs> Only mom? What about your dad? He left us. When I was eight years old, I had to grow up very early. It must have been hard for you. It was much harder when he tried to take part in my life. Once, my father sent his bodyguard with a gift on one of my birthdays. It was a huge radio-controlled car, all glowing, shining, and squeaking. In one word, it is impossible to imagine a better gift for a boy. But as soon as bodyguard left, I took that car and threw it out of the window. I needed a father, not his gifts. What about now? Do you get along? When I graduated, he seemed to understand that he was wrong and did a lot for me. Helped to get an education in London connected to the business. So you forgive him? I love him. I do. But I will never be able to forgive. He doesn't even understand it. But there's one thing I do know for sure. Someday I will have a child and I won't let him grow up without a father.
Good morning. Morning. What time is it? It's almost nine o'clock. I'm late. I have to go. God, I'm late too. Turn away. No, you turn away. <laughs> I'm first. Okay, just be quick. A very beautiful house. What is the occasion? Engagement. Congratulations. My fiance is late. I think we'll start without him. All right. Come on in. I put it down. Here. Can we move the furniture? Yes. Great. Then we'll put the tables here. We will have white orchids. It will be very beautiful. Here are five varieties of roses with red to yellow overflow. About the thousand pieces will be enough. Here are the vases. In the corners there will be tall, beautiful and elegant vases with assorted flower compositions. Here we'll make a monogram for the capital letters of your names. Everything will be done from flowers. Interesting, especially the letter idea. What are your letters? Sometimes the combination doesn't sound very good. We have very beautiful letters. Ka and Ye. Excellent. Ka and Ye as symbols of your love. Four vases are enough. Yes. I'm sorry, I'm late. And here is my fiancé. Meet. Igor. Episode 3 Sonia! Sonia, wait! Let's go now, I'm done. Where to? It doesn't matter, go! Sonia! Sonia! Igor, what was it? Isn't she weird, right? He didn't tell you anything? No. He seemed to be a good man. A good man with a bride and an engagement in no time. What were you thinking? How could you not notice he had a fiancé? Lienka. I want to be happy. Don't you get it? For a while, I thought that everything could be fine. But I was wrong. Or maybe to hell. To hell? I mean men. They are nothing but troubles. <laughs> to hell, all of them. It's better to be alone. You are not alone. You have your florist studio. It was your dream. And you must follow it. It's your own words. Thank you very much, Lena. You're always there in difficult times. Don't mention it. We are friends. Goodbye. See you soon. Things are going well for you. Well, yes. First payment. Amazing. Why? To be honest, when I first saw you, I didn't think you would make it. I mean, your business. People come to take loans every day. However, most of them can't pay back. 
It's a simple idea. Not everyone is able to open and raise their own businesses. So I am not the majority. I did succeed. So far, so good. It's the first payment. Who knows what will happen tomorrow? Thank you. Hello. Sonia, is that you? Where have you gone yesterday? Hello, Christina. We have very little time and so much to do. The engagement is in a few days. Can you handle it? Christina, listen to me, please. I love your ideas with the flower letters. I want the whole house to be covered in flowers. Christina, I understand everything, but... Sonia, listen. I don't know what happened this morning. But if we want to end on time, we need to end the discussion. Christina, please listen to me. I won't be able to complete your order. What does it mean? Excuse me. I wish all the best to you and your fiancé. Sonia. Fine. Igor, you are so worried about your father. But everything will be fine, really. I can't wait to announce our engagement. Why is the nurse looking at you like that? I have no idea. Verda just like the girl who decorated our office. She refused to decorate the house for our engagement. Can you imagine that? Like she doesn't want a good reputation and money. I'm worried that we won't make it on time. I don't want us to be in a hurry, okay? Igor, I have already found a new florist. And now I'm going to meet him. It wouldn't hurt you to come with me? I can't now. I have very important things to do. Igor. I'm sorry. What was that? Sonia. Sonia, we need to talk. Closed. Take your hand away. I won't. I'll close the door anyway. And break my arm. I have nothing to talk about. But I have. I must tell you the truth. I saw everything. I beg you. Just listen, please. Christina and I studied together in London. There we have started dating. I shared the management of the company with my father, and Christina took over her family business. Our parents have always dreamed of a merger between Sorokins and Lebedevs, especially my father. He became obsessed with this idea. Christina's father died a year ago. After his death, my father began to put pressure on me. And what happened then, you know, a heart attack and... I became afraid. I was so afraid of upsetting my father that I proposed to Christina. That's the only reason. Well done. You did a great job, Yegor. You take care of your family. You take care of your father. I just don't understand why you're telling me all this. I'm a stranger. You really don't understand? No. After I had met you, everything changed. You had met me. We had a nice chat. And then did something stupid. I regret. But I don't. After we've done something stupid like you said, I can't help myself. I can think only about you. I am sure you're the woman I want to spend my whole life with. That's right. You want. It's the most important point, yeah? But you should have told me about your bride. You knew about my husband. I've told right away about him. I didn't hide anything. But you're just like all the other men. Yegor, 
If you had feelings for me, you would do things. I'm ready for any action for you, don't you feel it? Did you call off your engagement? Sorry? Can't you hear? Did you call off your engagement? No. See? What else can we talk about? That's nice. And costs a lot. It is very difficult to find a good specialist now. At first I hired one, Dumbbell. I was lucky enough to kick her out in time. Yes, now we have a very expensive florist. But you can see the result. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but we are ready to start. Where is Yegor? He was somewhere here. You can start. Yegor will come. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> Friends, please come closer. We all gathered here in this wonderful house for an important event. Our charming Christina is going to tell you more about it. Welcome her. Louder. And we welcome our brave Yegor. I'm sure he's on his way to us. Yes. Where is he? Yegor, we are all waiting for you in the lobby. Where are you? Let's applause. Yegor? Yegor? And here he is. Let's welcome him. Finally. Friends, this is a very exciting day in the lives of two young people. They waited for a very long time. Every person on this planet is looking for their soulmate. But not everyone finds some. Igor, Christina, you are extremely lucky. You have met each other. You fell in love. And now, both of you finally ready to say aloud those words you have kept in your hearts for so long. I... I honestly... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yegor, what's going on? Why are you standing here? What are you doing, fool? Run after him, bring that bastard back. Yegor! Stop! What are you doing? Christina. Honey. I'm tired of pretending. You have to understand, I don't love you. Stop talking nonsense. You're just used to me. And that's it. Our love is... Our love has disappeared. It is gone. What's wrong with you? Please, let's go back to the house. The guests are waiting. We have to... Listen, listen. I promise you'll be fine. You will meet someone who deeply loves you. But I can't take it anymore. I can't. Sorry. Igor. Igor. Don't you dare to leave. That bastard humiliate us like that, in front of everyone. That's your fault. You should have kept an eye on him. It's not my fault. No yours. After so many years together, you can drag him down to Isle. Mom, what could I do? Do you like the house you live in? 
Do you like the car you drive? Or maybe clothes you afford? Without Igor's money, they will take all this from you and leave your bare ass at the street. Do you want this? We must bring Igor back in any cost, understand? Let me help you. It's not heavy. I did it. Well done. Put it there. I felt myself so relieved, like a huge stone had fallen out of my heart. I was serious about everything I've told you. What have you done? What kind of reaction is that? I told the truth. What truth? About everything. That I don't love her. We neither won't get engaged nor get married. The engagement is today. Wait, did you run away? I did it only because I can't stop thinking about you. Since the first day I met you. Igor, but you can't run away on the day of the engagement. Why didn't you cancel it before? I was afraid and I didn't have courage to do it. And today, I finally understood I can't lie anymore, either to myself or to others. So that's how you do it. First you propose, then you run. Yes, yes, I was wrong. But if I didn't run away, it would be much worse for me, for Christina, for everyone. I want everything to be like it used to be. The main thing is our present, right now. I have a lot of things to do in my present. I have orders to take care of, I need to pay off loan. So don't bother me, please. Rejected. Valera. Find Igor immediately. Got it. He is at the bar, drunk as goat. Don't. I'll handle it. Repeat. Scotch, please. In a minute. It was a good day, wasn't it? It's not so easy to get rid of your family, yeah? Igor... I can understand your feelings. Sure you do. Seriously. Engagement, wedding... These are very serious events, especially in the life of a man. You're so afraid of losing your freedom. Well, you had a breakdown, yeah? It's okay, it happens. We are with you, even without an engagement. Let's go home. Woman. The woman who never became my mother-in-law. I'll tell you without embellishment. It's all over between Christina and me. Don't be stupid. Just don't. You know how my late husband wanted our families to unite, right? And you have fooled my poor little girl for so many years. So it's time to be a man, marry her. Don't you understand? I don't love Christina. I don't. I don't care. Do you hear me? I don't care if you love her or not. 
Marry her, and that's it. There will be no wedding. Are you sure? Your father has a weak heart, and he won't be very happy about this news. Will you tell him yourself, or should I do it? Come again. What a beautiful day. I'm closing. Hi. What a beautiful day. What a beautiful day. What a perfect day. Are you all right? I'm crazy. I'm crazy. I'm crazy. Lenka, what happened? I'm not Lenka. I'm Yelena Alexeyevna, future doctor. Did you get in? Yes, with a full scholarship. That's my girl. Good job. Thank you. Let's celebrate? Yes, of course. I hope your visit won't make your father nervous. He needs to remain calm. Come on. Why are you so quiet? Did the engagement go wrong? Don't be silent. Talk to me. It's okay, Dad. It's just... We can't get along with Christina. Just look at him. I've been lying here for days among these devices, all in pipes. And you know what I feel? Death. I can feel her breath. Dad, come on. I won't stop. Listen. All my youth, all my life, I did nothing but work. I worked to earn this damn money. Even divorced your mother because of it. In the 90s, I wanted to keep you safe. So what? Am I happy now? Yes. Of course, I can't afford something, especially when I'm sick. But laying here, all alone, I want to trade all my money to go back. To get together with your mom and you. I want to hold your hand and walk you to school. Or play football with you. Or go fishing. That's what I'm thinking about. It is impossible. Yes, son, this is impossible. But I am very grateful that you began to communicate with me, that forgave me. You followed my footsteps and took over my company. Thank you. Dad, it's all right. That's what I think. You don't have to marry Christina. No need. 
Live your life, son. My ambition is only my ambition. I am sorry. I am sorry that I wanted to force you to marry. Forgive me. Dad, you... you have no idea what these words mean to me. I can't pay off the loan with that. Lena! Only small orders. Well, it's fine. You will have some more. What about your men? My men? Not Anton, of course. Has Igor called you? Every day. And you don't answer. I won't. Do you hate him? No. Hate is destructive. He has known Christina since childhood, and he met me less than a month ago. Now you understand his reason to not to tell you. It doesn't excuse him. Why are you protecting him? All my life I went with the flow. I did as others did, I thought as others thought. I got used to the idea. I have been dreaming of becoming a doctor, but I was afraid to even try. Until a miracle happened to me. A miracle? Yes. I met my classmate. Who miraculously overplayed death. She showed me that if you do not give it to your fear, you can achieve everything. She left her unwoven husband, got a huge loan, and opened her own studio. Her own studio! I can! I was such a fool, I was afraid to try. And now I'm a future doctor. Thank you for this. Listen. Just listen. The main thing is that you feel. If you love Igor, then everything else is unimportant. Let the past stay in the past. Leave the present. Igor is calling. Should I answer? My god, girl, of course! <laughs> yes, hi. I'm surprisingly calm around you. When you're near, I know everything is gonna be all right. I've never experienced anything like this, never. And I understand how it looks for you, and you should... you should hate me. If you say I shouldn't call or write you, I won't. But before you decide, I... must tell you. I love you. Igor, I love you too. I haven't danced in such a long time. I have a surprise for you. Open. That's great. Tickets to London? I booked a weekend in London for us. Are you crazy, Igor? Yes, it's your fault. But what about the visa? Don't worry, I'll handle it. By the way, Another surprise awaits you in London. I thought that Igor was smarter. 
However, he found another woman. When was that? Look, I have some more. I've been watching them for a week. They are in love. Look. They went to the cafe, cinema. They hold hands and kiss each other on every corner. Bastard. With this florist girl. That's why she ran away. Bitch. Where are you going? I'm going to find her and rip out her hair. This won't help you. We need to be smarter. Sonia? What you looking at? Tea? How did you... What a shit. Where's my money? I don't have it. Wait a bit longer. Do you know what will happen after? I will come, and if I don't see the money, I will hurt you very, very badly. That's I'm mistaking. Look at him, sleeping so peacefully. Maybe we should go. Can't direct his own son to the right place. Mom. Hello there. Sveta, Christina? Do you even know what's going on? What? Do you know where's your son? And most importantly, with whom? He's in London with some florist girl. Oh, that. You still can't drop this topic. I know everything Yegor has told me. So you know. That's why you're so calm. What can I do? I won't force him. Excuse me? Are you kidding me? You have changed your mind, as I see. Sveta, I didn't realize it before. But our children have to decide everything by themselves. Oh, I see. Christine, I am sorry. But Yegor, 
He doesn't love you. I am not willing to force him. I have been waiting for this wedding for so long, for your indecisive figure to propose. And now what? Everything went to hell. Oh, come on. And now you, old stump, aren't going to react properly. I beg you, don't get hysterical. I'm tired. I want to sleep. Oh, don't get hysterical. Mom. Your Yegor ruined everything. He dumped Christina. Do you hear it? How could you let that happen? Where were you looking? Don't you understand? This marriage is everything for me. We are deeply in debt. Yes, me. Our company is bankrupt. This marriage and your money are the only salvation. Do you hear? We will be nothing without this marriage. Nothing. Mom, what are you doing? Mom, is he dying? Let's go faster. Let's go. What's wrong? Didn't like London. Igor, how could I? It was the best weekend of my life. You, me, we are together in London. You proposed to me near Big Ben. I couldn't have dreamed of such a thing. What's wrong with the mood then? Well, I'm still married. Sonia, I know it. You have to understand that a divorce is just a legal formality. Unless, of course, you're planning to get back with him. No. I don't want to hear about him. So, it's going to be like this. Immediately after the divorce, we get married. Wait. What? Tell me, are you capable of crazy things? How crazy? Yes or no? I'm a decent girl. That wasn't my question. What do you have in mind? Let's move in. Are you serious now? Yes, I am. Let's live together. So, and besides, my apartment is much more spacious than yours. Well, what do you say? The door is open. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. I go first. Don't touch anything. The police will figure it out. Leave it. Someone was rummaging around. Yes. The thieves. I've got nothing. I immediately pay the money to the bank. But the thieves don't know about it. Should I call the police? The vacation is over. Great excuse to turn on the phone. Well, and here we go. Yes, it's Yegor. What? No, no, listen. Dad passed away. No, I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. Do not freak out. Do not freak out? Mom, do you even understand what happened? Christina, calm down. It is what it is. We have to keep going with Igor. Are you out of your mind? Do you hear what are you saying? Mom, you just killed a man and I was with you. You need to call a lawyer. No one will call anywhere. Good. Nobody saw us. They probably thought that the old stump died by himself. What if you didn't think so? What if the nurses saw us? Mom, there were cameras, we'll be jailed. Calm down. Sometimes I feel like you're not my daughter. 
Yes, I lost my temper. But now I can't change anything. Sorokin is dead. You need to pull yourself together and turn the situation in our favor. And what are you going to do? I'll think of something. I am so... sorry for your loss. It's all my fault. Listen, I... I know how hard and painful it is to lose a loved one. But life goes on. Do you hear me? Could you leave me? I need to be alone. Yegor. Don't feel sorry for me. Just leave me alone. Antonio. Are you in a hurry? I'll pay back. Good to hear. Pay. But not today. I don't have it yet. But that's for now. I'll get the money. Did I tell you about the interest? And about the pain? Yes, this is quite fair. I'll put you in the water one more time. People will think you commit a suicide. Don't. I will pay you back, I swear. Your words mean nothing. I have no money, but I know where to get it. Enough for the interest and more to come. Don't make up stories. This is not a story. My wife owns a florist Rice studio. Her insurance is more than enough for you. You're lying. No, I swear. Here, here. Here. See? Insurance photo. If something happens to the studio, my wife will be paid a huge sum. Your wife, not you. I'm her husband, so her money is my money. Your money is my money. Keep it in mind. We're here. Are you okay? Yes. Can't be better. The store seems to be closed. Should I take you home? No, this is not a store. It's my florist try studio. I don't want to go home. Don't worry. As you wish.
Episode 4. Sonia, I'm sorry, I behaved like... Igor, hello. What? I'm at the studio. It's fire here, I can't get out. Save me, please. Sonia! 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 Sonia, Sonia, how are you? Sonia! It's even better than before. All good. No need to worry. Thank you. <laughs> Goodbye. Have a nice day. Do you understand how important it is? If he knew, we are done. The medical certificate is in the daughter's name. Don't worry, I'm the best. Here, for your work. Do you know her? Excuse me? What were you talking about? Lenochka, what's wrong? Nothing. My conversations with patients are confidential. So she is your patient? It's not your business. Get up. Wear this. You will be irresistible. So are we going? Of course. We don't to arouse suspicion. So chop chop. Get dressed. I don't want to go. Yegor needs support. Mom, he doesn't need my support. Maybe he doesn't. But you need to talk to him. We have discussed everything. Well, I'm sure he will be glad to find out about your pregnancy. But I'm not pregnant. Look. See this? It's your baby. I don't understand. What don't you understand? I bought this certificate. And the rest to make you officially pregnant. And you know Yegor always wanted to be a father. Maybe you are right, but I'm not pregnant. What are we going to do then? We will think about it later. Come on. Hurry up. I missed my father so much in my childhood. I knew he was somewhere there, but wanted him to be by my side. I... I couldn't forgive him. I couldn't. However, now I see what he was doing back then was for us, but it's too late. 
I've never said it. Igor, he knew it. He is always with you. Always. Igor, I even don't know what to say. He passed away so unexpectedly. Such a blow for all of us. Please, accept my condolences. And remember, we are always there for you. Thank you, Svetlana. Igor. I am so sorry. My father passed away and... I know. I know it's hard. I can understand you better than anyone else. If you need me, just tell it. Such a loss, Yegor. Your father was a young man. I can't believe it. Thank you. Yegor, can I have you for what? I understand it might be not a good time, but I can see Christina's struggles. Svetlana, again? Indeed, it's not the right time. I'm not about the breakup. It's your business, however. You must know. Christina is against it, but I believe it's the right thing to do. What's that? People's life is so unpredictable. Christina is pregnant. Pregnant? Yes. Here. Take a look. This is your child, Yegor. I beg you, don't tell Christina that I've told you. She is so sensitive now. She must avoid stress. What did you tell him? Oh, that's you. Anyway, you're not his level. Or anyone's else level. Christina, Christina! Igor. Sorry, I am lost in thoughts nowadays. I guess I know why. I doubt it. Why didn't you tell me? About what? Mm -hmm. About pregnancy. You should have told me. Why? You dumped me. Have you forgotten it? If you don't need me, you don't need our child too. Don't say it. It's perfectly clear that child is at first place for me. I will never give up on him. Igor? Congratulations. You have dreamed of it. I hope you will be a good father. I don't understand how could she get pregnant. Well, you see, something like this can happen when mama and papa have some privacy. I've seen Christina's mother at the hospital, talking to a gynecologist. Now I know the topic. It's so nasty. Herbs. Bring some alcohol. Sonia, you must bring him back. Lena, he's going to have a child with his ex fiance What do you want me to do? Do you want me to destroy a future family? To leave a child without a father? No, that's not my point. But it's time to get up. How long have you stayed in the bed? It won't help me. 
How about your dream? You must aspire Please, after Please, leave me alone. I don't want to hear anything about Igor or Studio. Leave me. As you wish. Соня? Соня? I couldn't reach you for three days. Are you okay? Yes. God, Соня, what's wrong with you? The door is unlocked? Room is the mess? Is it you? Yes, it's me. Listen, I know what happened to your studio. You tried your best and... It's so unfair. Who cares how hard I tried? You can't say so, Sonia. Who cares? Is it daylight? I'm gonna make some coffee. For me? Coffee with brandy to cheer you up. It was a broom. It will be easier to breathe. Anton, you made coffee for me. Clean the apartment, and now flowers? What's going on? Well, what do you think? We're not strangers. Whatever is between us, you aren't an indifferent to me. When you had left, I understood a lot. We had hard times, but... Frankly speaking, all of our marriage is a hard time. Yes. And I was the reason. I looked at our life from your perspective and saw what a monster I was. I'm sorry for that. I'm really sorry. But I've changed, Sonia. Yeah, don't tell me you'll give up gambling. But I did. Don't believe me, do you? Actually, no. What's that? I'm visiting this group for two weeks. They help people like me to give up gambling addiction. I'm sorry. I don't know what to believe. Sonia, I quit gambling. And I need to show you something. Come home for dinner tonight. Home? So? This is our baby. Such a strange feeling, I'm a father. May I go with you next time? No, Igor. I won't forgive you so soon. I can't stop thinking about you and... Listen, you... Don't talk. I got you. We both need time. I thought I would raise our baby by myself, but you're here. I can't stop smiling knowing that we're having a baby. It's essential for a child to grow up in a full family.
Come on in. Hi. Let me help you. It smells so good. A dinner. By the way, cooked it by myself. Wow. Yeah, I hope you like it. I spent whole evening at the kitchen. You... You're so beautiful. Thank you. Come. Oh my. Have a seat. Anton, you've... You've never done something like this. Listen, Sonia. For the first time in my life, I realized what my life was like and how unfair I was to you. You took care of me all my life and loved me. I am guilty. I want to start all over again. But for real, you know? I want you to be happy. I want to have a baby. Do you want us to have a baby? Of course. This little detail, our child, will make our family complete. Anton, I'm sorry. I can't now. Everything is so fast. Sorry. Well, let's have dinner then. Let's go, let's go. Come on, come on, move. Excuse me? Yes? Why was he arrested? Vadim has used his position and was engaged in forging medical certificates. About pregnancy? Yes, about pregnancy, ultrasound, and so on. I can't even believe he did it. Here. He changed pregnant women's ultrasounds and wrote everything down in a notebook. Not to forget. Christina Lebedeva. Christina Lebedeva. Hi. Sonia, you can't believe what happened. Are you leaving? Yes, I'm going back with Anton. Anton, are you out of your mind? He destroyed your life. Lena. Is this your reason to come? Everyone is so smart, knows what's best for me. Take care of yourself. But I'm going back to my husband. But you don't have to. The doctor was arrested in our hospital. So what? He is a gynecologist, and he gave everyone false pregnancy certificates. Just think, he issued the same certificate to Christina. She is not pregnant, she is deceiving Igor. Yes. Wow. Wow? Is that all you want to say? 
Lena, what do you want from me? The reason isn't in Kristina's pregnancy, but Igor's behavior. If he wanted to be with me, he probably would have been here. How can you understand? He is responsible. He doesn't want to leave his unborn child. Kristina is the bad guy here, and you have to go tell him everything. Should I? Yes. No. It's all over with Igor. My life is getting better. And by the way, Anton quit gambling, and he wants us to have a child. Anton? Yes. Yes, Lena, he has changed. When I felt bad, Anton came to support me, and Igor turned away. So that's it. I'm done. One doctor was accused of bribes and falsification of pregnancy certificates in our hospital. I don't quite understand. Why do you tell me this? He forged such a certificate for Christina. She is not pregnant. Bullshit. Listen, if you need evidence or details, contact the head chief, Tikhonov Fyodor. He will tell you everything. Visit him. What are you doing? Something important. Important? Anton, I hope you... I'm not playing. I told you I quit it. So what are you doing? I'm looking for a job. So many vacancies, I don't even know what to choose. For example, a courier with a bike. What do you think? It's winter now. Well, then I'll put on winter tires. Or this, handing out flyers dressed as a Christmas bunny, hourly payment. Seriously, rabbit? Imagine that, your husband is a Christmas bunny. Yes. Yeah. Listen, maybe you can do repairs? You were good at it, and the income was good. Repairs? Yes. Why not? As in the good old days. As in the good old days. Well, what are you planning now? I don't know. I don't know. Probably I'll beg to take me to an old job. No. My wife deserves more than an office job where no one appreciated her. What should I do then? Don't give up. And keep doing flowers. Let's open a new studio, I'll help you. We're together now. We're a team. We are the force. Are you serious? Yes. Anton. I don't understand. I really don't understand. How can you be like that? I even can't call you a human. Fake pregnancy certificates, fake ultrasound. This is the height of hypocrisy. Igor, listen. It's all for us. I love you. Do you? Do you love me? You're a callous, selfish being. I'm afraid you don't even know what love is. And you'll never know. Igor, I do love you. Enough. Enough. Because of you. You are the reason why I ruined my relationship with the person I truly love. You knew how I feel about children and took advantage of it. I will never forgive you, never. Of course it was you. Here's the one who's behind all this. Igor, take it easy. Let's discuss everything. Nothing can stop you. Victory at any cost? You will even go to such meanness, right? Igor, it's all for you. For all of us. You and Christina will be fine. Trust us and everyone will be happy. What a family you are. You know what? You deserve each other. It's good that I figured everything out on time. Igor, wait. 
Wait, Igor, come back immediately, Igor! Are you happy? Yes, I can believe it. Who would have thought Anton could change? Are you together now? Yeah? Yes, we are. And? Eliana. Well, we sleep in the same bed. We haven't had any intimacy yet. Well, I'm glad if you're okay. That's how it should be. Yeah. Can you imagine? He said he wants me to keep doing my job, even though the studio burned down. Oh. Does he know about a huge loan you have to pay off? Yes, and he wants to help. No one will give you money for a second studio. It's not necessary. We will do the repairs ourselves. The studio was insured, and soon we will get check. Does Anton know about it? I'll tell him when the decision of the payment will be made. Lena, I haven't seen him like this before. It's all your fault. If you hadn't interfered, everything would have gone on as usual. And Yegor would have married me sooner or later. We didn't have time to wait. Yegor only fooled you around. You started dating back in London. And look how many years have passed. What's the difference he has left? We still have chance. We will come up with something. What can we do? Anything. We have to think first. Mom, stop. Thank you. I have one notary. He owes me. You need to talk to him. What does the notary have to do with it? Well, we don't need Igor himself. We need his money. His father's company. If we can't get Igor, let's try to get his company. Mom, is murder not enough for you? Now you want to go raiding. And what do you suggest, daughter? Maybe you can tell me the way out. Except. Except. We are bankrupt. We can't pay our obligations. I will be judged. Do you remember it? I remember. Then they will know about the murder. You will go as an accomplice. Goodbye. Sonia, wait. Sonia, stop. Don't you see I'm waiting for you? What do you want? One more conversation. Yes, and it is very important. I don't think so. Christina isn't pregnant. All this was a lie. I know. Then you must understand me. I don't owe you anything. Whether Christina is pregnant or not, it doesn't matter. Our relationship is over. Igor, you're not a little boy. You must understand this. Listen, even when I thought Christina was pregnant, I didn't stop loving you. You can't imagine how hard it is to choose between loving you and loving my child. Why do I have to understand you all the time? Can you understand me? I want family, Igor. A real family. Hey, jerk! I'm gonna break all your bones now. Anton, wait a minute. Meet my husband. Yes, he is not exemplary. But he tries to change for the best. And he does it for me. I saw from the window how this idiot was talking to you. Do you know him? No. Have you received the insurance? Yes, the money is here. And you're carrying it with you. We should have gone to the bank together. Yeah, I'm listening. Okay, I'm coming. The examination after your father's autopsy was somewhat delayed. But now the results are ready. I still don't understand anything. There are bad news. 
Your father? He didn't die a natural death. He, he was killed. And you are? Gennady Viktorovich, investigator. According to preliminary data, someone deliberately interrupted the operation of the life support apparatus. This is nonsense. I can't believe it. Why? Why would anyone do this? Task force immediately examined your father's room. There is no doubt. Sorokin Ilya Gennadievich, unfortunately, was killed. The killer plucked the tube from the machine, causing the death of the patient. Do you have any suspects? Not yet. You are the sole heir. That's why I decided to talk to you. What are you hinting at now? Nothing. For now, nothing. Even vice versa. I hope you can help bring some clarity to this case. The killer left evidence at the crime scene. This is a rhinestone. The rhinestone was left on the tube of the apparatus. Do you have any idea to whom it might belong to? A toast. For the revival of the Florist Rye studio and for a new life. You know, for a happy life. For our happy life. So, now I can congratulate you. I hope you don't regret your decision. After all, this is your father's and my best friend's company. Not at all. Business is not for me. Well, now you're free. Do you have any plans? I don't know yet, but I know for sure I will return to London. Nothing holds me here. Flight is tonight. Good luck. Thanks. Lebedeva Svetlana? You're coming with me. What's that? You're charged with the murder of Sorokin Ilya. What a violent accusation. A rhinestone from a woman's nail was found at the crime scene with your fingerprints on the handset. So what? You'd better come with us voluntarily. Moreover, someone is waiting for you in the car. We will explain everything in the department. Please. Mom! Look out, don't hit your head. Anton! Anton! Thank you. 
Anton, where is the money? Where are you? Sonichka, everything is fine. Are you playing slot machines again? No, no, everything is okay. Everything is okay. You are my baby. Go, go, go! Yeah, hello. Hello, this is a fire inspector. Could you come to my office? Details of the fire investigation have come to light. What kind of details? It was an arson. I hope you haven't received your insurance money yet. Otherwise, they will have to be returned. What's going on here? Sonia! What is this mess in the apartment? You've gotten completely out of hands. Anton, where's the money? What? What money? My money. You played, I heard it. Because I have a new 100% system. How much did you lose? Casino, they are bastards. Scammers. My system couldn't lose. Have you lost everything? I didn't lose. I was deceived. You promised me. You've been visiting the group therapy. <sighs> yeah, I wasn't going anywhere. I said it for you to believe me. And you believed, didn't you? What? Yes. All those dinners, dogs, champagne. So everything was because of the money? Because of that stupid insurance? How? How could you? That was you. You rummaged into my apartment. And what should I do, eh? You left me in debt. And you have opened your own business. And I needed money. There was arson in the studio. Is that you too? Yes. Have you collected your clothes? Why did you stop? Come on, get out of here. You can't get away with this. And what will happen? What will happen? I'll go to the police. Come here. You don't go anywhere. Is it clear? Have you forgotten what it's like to live with a husband? I will kill you. Don't. I'll warm up dinner for you. You're hungry. There. Now I see my wife. Warm it up. And then clean up the apartment. Wanted to fool me, bitch! 
You're going to jail. Shut up. You will rot in prison. Shut up, I said. <laughs> How are you? How are you? Look at me. Come here. Here. Sonia. Sonia, baby, I'm here. Hush, my dear. Quiet. Quiet, hold on. Now, now. Hello? Ambulance. A woman dies. Zarechna 52. Sonia, Sonia, everything's fine. I'm here. Do you hear? Igor. I love you. Sonia. 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 I never had time to tell you this. But I know how much you wanted to hear it, Father. I forgave you long time ago. I love you and have always loved you. Always. Hey, I told you to sit in the car. The doctor forbade you to move. Igor, everything is all right. I feel great. The wound has almost healed. Oh, I won't survive if something happens to you. Everything will be fine. Let's go. Let's go. Are you cold? Four years later. I didn't think we'd see each other again. Yes. Well, I said I would come. Four years have passed. Yeah. Time passes fast. For how long are you staying? My husband has business here. He opens an exhibition. Yeah, Igor's paintings are very popular in London. And here is the first exhibition. It's wonderful. By the way, I'm going to open for a dry studio. So do you still deal with flowers? Yes. They're wonderful. How can I live without flowers? I have three studios in London, several in Europe, and more to come here. Sonia, you are great. No, Lenka, it's you. You are a doctor now. A Yelena Alexeyevna now. Life is a strange thing. Mom! Run to your mother. Go. All right, Lena. I will go. We'll talk later. Glad to see you. Mom! Mommy! Who is here? Shall we go? Give me a hand. 